Hi, my name is Justin Caba. I am the Apprentice Director here at the Hope Center Ministries Axton Campus, and I headed up our Project Hope Initiative. Uh, so we were blessed with a sizable grant to help reinvigorate our ball field down at our campus, and uh, we've really spearheaded it with uh, a complete makeover of our ball field, which was in pretty rough shape um, prior to the grant. Um, so with the help of our residents here at the Hope Center, as well as some volunteers, we've completely revamped it, um, starting with the uh, grass, uh, the infield, we've built dugouts for it, got all brand new equipment for the uh, residents to use, and uh, we plan on completing it at the end of this month, May, and we plan on doing a grand opening with a Hope Center versus Compassion Church softball game. My name is Trinity. Today we are helping with the garden, a little bit of community service, you know, have people safe and have them come in from a nice healthy resource for vegetables or anything that they need. It's really something nice to do for the community, something that we really need because it's not, it's not common for you to see a community come together and work on something together. But that's what we're doing here today. My favorite thing about volunteering is I'm also getting hours for my beta um, club that I am in. And it's, it's just a feeling that you get when you know you're helping out for people and that you're helping people. It's a great feeling. And that's why I'm here today. My name is Ethan Joyce and I go to Magna Vista High School. We're helping the community out with um, putting gravel down and then we'll help uh, plant plants for the community because the grocery store prices have went way too up and some people cannot afford food. At my house, I do have a few little garden or whatever and I plant corn and stuff. So I like to raise my own food and not rely on other stuff. There's so many stuff that's happening to other people and people are going through stuff that you might not even know. And it just helps, uh, it makes me feel good, honestly, to give back to my own community. My name is... using to uh, market Just Call Granny or get the information out was just falling flat. We, we weren't able to reach people, so we wanted to try this a different way, a more modern way. We updated our phones so that we could uh, have them 24-7. Um, you, can't, <laughs> you can't believe trying to do a, a program with a flip phone and, and trying to text or doing anything with it was so cumbersome. So. We got all that straight and then the HOPE project came in and, and we got so much help along the way, every step of the way, because I have never done a grant before. I've never written a grant before. And I got help from one of our team members that just called Granny and we were able to uh, get that established and accepted. So with our Project HOPE money, we have been using it to promote just Call Granny so more people understand what we're all about, what we offer, but also to connect us with the other uh, people, agencies, groups who have our likewise um, mindset that they want to uh, lift up our community, uh, give people a reason uh, to further their uh, education or their work ideas, their family health and nutrition, whatever it is that just to elevate that, that life and to their quality of life, make it better. And um, so that's what we've been doing with our Project Hope money is just getting that word out about Just Call Granny. And, and it's, it's been quite an exciting ride. It's been a blessing to me to be a part of this. And also it's given me personal hope for Martinsville Henry County because it's a lot of bad talk about what we didn't have anymore. Everything's changed, but it's okay. It can change and it can be better. And I think that 
with we work together that it will be better.